and we're done, man. Then we're done. We leave here with the box checked. We gave it our all. We came with a mission. Achieved that mission. Proud of ourselves and motivated to come back the next day, kick some more ass as we get further and further and further ahead of our competition. You know, that's what makes a lot of difference. And the more you hit, you kill yourself here, especially doing workouts like this that are kind of outside the box. Um, it gets your creativity going. It gets your like your, your uh, it's like an adrenaline shot for your will. Because like you're doing things like this, I can't tell you how many people have been driving by and pulled over and stopped and taking pictures and stuff. I'm in a very desolate area here. You know, I'm not here for their enjoyment. I'm here for my own satisfaction, my own growth. But amazing what I'm doing here by somebody giving it his all, pushing past barriers, wanting to be more. You know, that's so rare in life that people pull the fuck over, stop what the fuck they're doing and get out and take pictures and stuff. Because it's inspiration. There's a lot of inspiration out here, guys. And again, like the food you eat, some of it will fuel the body, some will deter the body. You know, it can be a pro or a con on the food you eat to supply this nutrition to grow it or to kill it. But there's a visual diet out there too, guys. And when you see something that motivates you or inspires you, do what they did, get out. Take credit, remember what you saw, so you can use that as strength for your own endeavors later in life when you're feeling a little down. Maybe I need an extra kickstart or something. Make sure surrounding yourself with like-minded and like that. People that are positive. Collectively, sums are greater than parts. Champions come in pairs with two, like I say. You surround yourself with those kind of mentality people. Man, you're shooting the start, man. I mean, you're gonna be so far ahead of the competition. Not only that, you're gonna surprise yourself. You're like, wow, man, I've been working every single day, but now just kind of taking a, a break and looking back, how did I get so far? <laughs> Through payments of this, my friends. Every day, man, paying your dues. Go to play. Thanks for watching. But let's just say at the end of that workout, man, you still are have a little stress or some anxiety, or you're still fucked up a little bit inside, man. You're still flustered it's about something's on your mind. You know, maybe it was that boss. If that boss at work's been riding you too hard, let's call him Sam. Maybe Sam's on your ass too much. Well, guess what, Sam? Fuck off! There's Sam. Who's next in your mind? That fucking girlfriend of yours won't stop nagging, always asking you questions. You're loyal, you're faithful, but she's always on your phone looking for shit. Or on your Facebook, who's this person, who's that person? This is who it is, bitch! Who else is on your mind? You have a hard workout. You will unleash it here, man. It's fun, peaceful. You unleash it here. So in the job environment, when shit matters, you keep your cool. You understand what I'm saying? You blow off the steam on your own accord. That's why I love the gym so much. Because I can go there and release some stress. Otherwise, if it stays bottled inside of you, it pops on its control, not you know, against your will, not in control in, in, in your grand scheme of things. You gotta let that, you gotta undo the bottle a little bit, let that, some of that fucking pressure come out. And if you don't, well, I start to build up and build up and build up, then the slightest thing at work snaps, means you snap. And guess what? You got a lawsuit, you're fired. I mean, come on. It's a lot easier to grab a fucking cinder block, slam it down. Oh, it felt good. So when it matters on that, that bullshit that comes up at work, it doesn't cost you your job, you know what I mean? It's just another little something thing I do, make a mess out here where it doesn't have a big deal, some construction site anyway. It kind of goes with the setting. And this workout here, man, $6 it cost me. I can keep it, put it back in my car, roll it around wherever I want. Or if I'm really feeling stressed, man, for six bucks, man, small price to pay for all that stress relief and feeling good, man. Anyway, great play, help you stay fit, man. Cinder block upper body. Cinder block upper body. Let's watch it.